What we're talking about today is the biggest question I get, and it's how do I get started in the vending business? I get this question every day, so I always uh, put up things to answer it frequently. Right. This is the updated version, the 2019 version. So check it out. Here we go. I'm giving you six steps to how to start a successful vending machine business. All right, here we go. Step one on starting a successful vending machine business. First thing you need to do is form your actual business. So what that means is I suggest, I would recommend you get an LLC. So there's different forms, there's different entities you can get to start your business. Um, I think LLC is best, it, it protects you and um, you know it, it puts you in a good stand just in case something happens as far as liability wise, you know, it, it protects your personal needs, I mean, your personal um, uh, assets. So that's my suggestion on that. Step one is forming your business and uh, coming up with your name. And that also includes setting, setting up all of your, I would say, I would call it kind of marketing strategies. Um, just building your social profile. So when you're forming your business, you're coming up with your name, you're coming up with your entity, you're coming up with your um, email address, you're coming up with your Instagram, your Facebook page. All of those things are important because the next step, you will need those things in place in order to move forward. So make sure you set up your Instagram account, make sure you set up a Facebook page, make sure you have your email ready, make sure you have business cards, make sure you have your LOC in place. All right, so that's the most important step. Step two, find your location. So after you have everything set up and in place, now it's time for you to go out and actually find the location. There are many ways to find a location. I have a lot of different videos um, about finding locations. You can look into that, um, check on my page, check on my Instagram, check on my YouTube. I talk about it. Um, you know, a number of different times. That's the second thing you want to do. That's the second most important step. Now, also in the midst of finding that location, you also want to make sure you have a um, a vending machine connect. You don't want to buy your machine yet, but you want to make sure you have somewhere to get the machines from. You want to know different places you can get machines from. Make sure you do your research on that before you get the location, um, just so you can prepare yourself for the next step, all right. Step three, buy the machine. Now, you don't wanna buy the machine before you have the location. Main reason, machines come in many different sizes. All locations are different sizes. All locations have different needs. If you buy the machine first and it's not suitable for that spot, you'll be stuck with the machine and you'll have to get a different one. All right, so make sure you don't get the machine before you actually get the location. Some locations may be big, but they have small doorways. So certain machines can't fit. Um, other locations may be, may be extremely busy and the machine that you have may be too small and not suitable for that location. It's a number of different things that can happen, but you never want to buy the machine first unless you just have it sitting around already. You know, then you do your best to try to find a machine, try to find a location that's suitable for that machine. But finding locations are difficult, so you don't want to put yourself in a bomb where you have to find a location to fit the machine. It's much easier to find a machine to fit a location, you know, to get yourself going. That's step three. Step four, get your products. After you got your, your machine, um, it's time to buy the products. Now, when buying the products, make sure you're doing your research first. So don't get the stuff that you like. Get the stuff that you know is going to sell. So make sure you do your research, figure out what the best products are to sell. Get those, fill up your machine. Um, look to spin around, I would say two, maybe between 100, 150 to two hundred dollars to fill your machine up, depending on what type of machine it is. Remember, the bigger the machine, the more it's going to cost to fill it up. Um, and, you know, and make sure you have that ready. That's step four. Step five: place the machine. 
Now, once you have your machine, you have your product, you have your location, it's time to place it. Now, to do this, you can either use the person, you're buying the machine from the place it for you, you can hire somebody to place it for you, or you can place it yourself. I place my machines myself by using, I rent um, trucks, you rent a truck, make sure if you're gonna, if you're gonna rent a truck, rent a truck with a lift gate on it, and you also need a, a hand truck um, with straps on it. So you basically you strap the, the the bending machine to your hand truck, um, and then you'll put it onto the lift gate. And then once you get it onto the lift gate, just it easily pushes onto the truck, strap it to the strap it to the side of the truck, so it doesn't move around while you're driving. And you can easily get it there, get it off. You'll probably need you and at least one other person. You know, if you have two other people, even better. You know, the more people, the better. Um, the smoother it will go. All right, you'll also need um, coins to put in your machine. The machines will not operate without the proper amount of coins in them. So make sure you have all your needs, all your prices, your labels, everything you need so you can get the business going as soon as you, uh, you know, place your machine in your location. That's step five. Step six, now, once you got everything in place, it's time to get your business going. Service your, service your machines weekly, even if it doesn't look like your products are moving really fast, you wanna make sure you're there, make sure people see you know who you are, um, get feedback from the people that you're selling the products to so you can put the best stuff in there for them. Also, you wanna be there to make sure the machine is operating correctly. If you only come every other week or once a month or something like that, you're not gonna be able to catch the issues and you probably won't have that location too long. Now, if you're going every week, you could you could you could fix um any issues that come up and you'll be able to tweak the products to maximize your profits. Okay. If you're really interested in getting started in the vending machine business and you want to make sure you get started off on the right foot, I have an ebook, six steps on how to successfully start a vending machine business. I'll leave a link in the description. Check it out. Hopefully, this video was helpful. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Also follow us on Instagram at TheVendingBiz and check out our website at TheVendingBizPhilly.com. Thanks.